Thank you. And all new right now at 6, police say bounty hunters are to blame for the damage at this convenience store. Uh, police say they tracked a suspect to this 7-Eleven in Kennedy Township near Kenmar Plaza, and then a scuffle broke out. Channel 11 News reporter Renee Wallace is live now at 6. And Renee, the man they were looking for is still out there. Yeah, the information coming out of Allegheny County Police Headquarters tonight confirms what we heard when we went back to Kennedy Township today. Those were not police impersonators, but bounty hunters, real life ones, going after a suspect. A couple of determined bounty hunters from North Carolina created quite a scary scene inside the 7 Eleven store in Kennedy Township last night when they tried, police say, to take this McKees Rocks man into custody. Channel 11 brought you live coverage from Kennedy at 5 and 6 last night. We showed you the front entrance to the store completely shattered. The police response today, we know much more. Police confirmed two bail bondsmen wearing law enforcement type gear confronted the suspect inside the store, asking him, for identification, and that's when the trio began scuffling and fell to the floor. Police believe either the glass door was shattered during the melee by the pellet gun or when it was struck by a fired pellet. Tonight, we've learned the fugitive those bounty hunters tried to take into custody was 21 year old Kason Murphy, who has ties to the Rock, Stowe, and Kennedy. He is wanted tonight on an outstanding arrest warrant from North Carolina and several warrants right here in Allegheny County. What do you think about that two bail bondsmen coming from out of state? Take yeah, someone I mean, in custody? That's crazy. It's a strange world we live in. We saw repairs being made to the storefront entrance today, but restoring the confidence of customers will take a bit longer. What would you have done if you'd have been in that store and seen that happen? Kept your cool? Yeah, well, I'd have been pretty nervous, I think. Uh, I'd probably hit the floor. <laughs> Live at County Police Headquarters tonight, I'm Renee Wallace for Channel 11 News.